Okay, so my dad let me know that he's got a tree that fell down in his backyard. I've got the chainsaw mill. I said, hey dad, go ahead and leave the trunk. Let me get up there over Thanksgiving and I'll see what I can do to turn that fallen tree into some usable lumber. So, got a bunch of stuff out in the garage. We'll see if we can get it loaded up and head up there to turn that tree into some lumber. After getting to spend a little bit of quality time with the family, my brother and I got to work. Hey. So, brother, brother, what did we do today? Uh, let's see. Good times. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Took out one that's dead, like been dead. So this one right here, base was rotted out, uh, fell onto this one, and then we took down that one so it didn't kill me while I was working on this one. Anyway, thanks for your help. You know, maybe I should move my truck. What do you think? I doubt it's gonna fall that way. I think I should move the truck. All right, here goes nothing. At first, I didn't know what species of tree these were. I got feedback from Facebook that they were either sweet gum or scarlet oak. I thought both these were sweet gum yesterday, but uh, once I got this one kind of sectioned up, I could tell the heartwood was a little different, and I found some leaves that I feel like were from uh, both trees. I feel like one is a sweet gum and one is some type of red oak. So I'll mill up the red oak. I'll probably leave the sweet gum, so. The initial pictures I got from my dad's text really should have been enough for me to know going into this about the two separate trees that were involved. I released project videos early to MakerSize email subscribers. If you want early access, go to makersize.com slash sign up. I have a small Harbor Freight winch that I use uh, to help me move logs around in the woods. These are on an incline, so it really only allowed me to move them around a little bit. I wasn't able to get them completely up the hill. Uh, it's just a little bit too significant of an incline, and I didn't really have anywhere to tie that winch to get them up the hill. I do have some snatch blocks that I can use to try to move logs around and kind of redirect the force where I want it. The base of this tree is still anchored into the ground. But after I got it up a little bit, I tried to kind of clear out from around it. And then I got the chainsaw out and started trying to cut it enough that I could free it up and maybe pull it completely out. I did get it to break loose, but I couldn't get it to fully separate even after wiggling it back and forth. In fact, I even moved the other log on account of it. It, it just wouldn't budge. 
So I tried whittling away at the base to try and give me a little bit more space to find a little bit of the tree that was still connected there uh, to try and get that log out and salvage as much of the tree as I could. After enough monkeying around with the base, I decided to redirect my efforts at the crotch part that was up the hill on flat ground. I had to cut off the wider part of the crotch. I then measured the width of the cant to try to make sure it wasn't too wide for my chainsaw mill. I can only fit about 16 inches in this particular mill, so the cant needs to be no bigger than that. Unfortunately, I didn't take off enough, so I ended up having to use the long-handled axe to hew the log a little bit more. After cutting this log into four two-inch thick slabs, I decided to go ahead and call it quits on Black Friday. I painted the ends of the remaining logs with Anchor Seal 2. That'll keep them from checking until I can get back out there. Then I packed it up and headed over to my in-laws on the other side of town. My father-in-law's neighbor has some black walnut trees that aren't doing great due to some disease. He dragged one that had fallen over out of the woods and he offered to let me mill it up. Black walnut is pretty cool, and it's the first time I've really used any walnut at all, much less milled it. What do you think? Get one more out of there? I hope you're inspired to exercise your inner maker. I want to give a special thank you to the patrons who support this channel. Your support really means a lot. I've got the wood stacked in my basement drying, so it'll probably be a little while before I can use it in any projects. If you enjoy this video, consider sharing it or leave a comment. Thanks for watching. <laughs>